Hello everyone. Welcome to your physics classroom. I am Lawal Ali to be your physics tutor. To our returning viewers, welcome back to your classroom. To our new viewers, welcome to this classroom. Please do well to press the subscribe button, turn the notification button, press the like and share button, and put your comments in the comment box. As we have all known that we are in the season of NECO 2025 and we have released a lot of videos on your physics, chemistry, biology practice. Now, I'm bringing another video to your screen right now on physics practical, especially question one right now. Methods with the given parameters, you know, we are given uh, the, uh, the knife edge, the metal rule, and the labs. So, from there, we have we want to bring up uh, a question related uh, to that particular specimen and the apparatus mentioned. Now, we are taking a reference from WASP 2020, 2017. And now we have our diagram on this board. The diagram we are seeing is showing a metal rule of one breast centimeter. That's a metal rule. And we have a center of gravity. And we have a fixed mass N. Remember, we are given a fixed mass N. This thing may be taped at a particular point. In this way, it was written that year 2017. We may do it like this, or we tape it, still working on that principle of moment we want to achieve. And this is where we have our. Uh, uh, the slotted masses. Now we have the all those masses are going to be changing. This is where we have it, and we have the diagram. Like this. Then you are provided with a uniform metal rule, a knife edge masses, and other necessary apparatus. Suspend the metal rule horizontally on the knife edge. Read and record the points of the balance of the balance G of the metal rule. We all know that any time we are doing we are kind of practical on the uh, equilibrium, the first thing we must do. Is to know the center of gravity of our metal. And I've told us several in our videos that uh, don't always agree that uh, all metal rule center of gravity is 50. Materials uh, depends on the material. So uh, keep the knife edge at these points throughout the experiment. I want to read out the question first before we start the experiment. And we have for instruction to say that using the thread provided, suspend the object the very edge at the 15 centimeter mark. Of the metal rule. Set so number three, suspend the mass M 100 gram on the other side of G. On the other side of G, adjust the position of the mass until the metal rule balances horizontally again. Read and record that number for read and record position of Y. The position of Y of the mass M on the metal rule. Determine and record the distance L. The distance L, the center of gravity and the new mass. Position between the mass and G. Also, the time I record the distance D between uh, D and A. D and A. Between D and A. And G, likewise, that is the distance. They said, repeat the procedure. For four other values of A equals to one third gram. 120 gram, 130 gram, and 140 gram. In each case, ensure that N is kept constant and 15 centimeter mark and the knife edge at G. Evaluate the inverse of L. In each case, tabulate your readings. Plot the graph of L on the vertical axis against the L inverse on the horizontal axis. And number nine here, we should determine the slope. You know, wherever you plot the graph, you determine the slope and state the precautions. These are the structures you are going to follow. In this video, to uh, perfect or to carry out this experiment, all what we need right now is to start the experiment. All what I want from you is that uh, let's come down and bring out your book. Let's do it together. What the video? Let's watch the video from beginning to the end, so that uh, all what we mentioned as points, we are bringing it out, and likewise, we bring out the best for ourselves. Now let's start. Yes, let the experiment start. I have my meter several times, it has been said in our video, whenever you are carrying out experiment on uh, equilibrium, or principle of moment, you must take the measurement of your center of gravity. That's what I want to do right now. I want to determine the center of gravity. I've told you not all time, it will be 50. It depends on the material. Now this one, let me see, with the balance. Okay. 
so you can see let's wait till you see we can see you can see it's not touching anything my this thing balance at 50. please make sure wherever you are carrying out this experiment the environment is free from hair several times we've been seeing it in our videos please take notice of that take notice so i will wrap i will not stand up for now after the experiment i will start so my have my g my center of gravity has 50 centimeters like i can zero it any i want it now something was said we should face a particular mass according to that specimen the we were told but the candidates should not be known they said we should fix that mass we call it n that's what i want to do right now i'm picking my facility i want to fix it the question we are seeing on the board came from 2017 and with the information for this year NECO, I changed values, values to relate with the information given to us in NECO for the same question but values different. We see our video on this same year 2017 on our seventh channel, Estimator Aditu Edu Consult. When you check that uh, our second channel, you will see, you will see the video there, 2017. The pre read question for that 2017. All right, the same we should place. This is labeled N. So it is. It should be placed on 15 centimeter. Now let me place it. I want to take my measurement from here. Okay, maybe I should follow what it did. Let okay, let me put it at this place 15. I want to put it at 15. If the video is too long, it will be of parts. So that I'll be able to enjoy it and digest it very well. What matters most is that you should get it right. That's why I said take your time to watch it. Don't skip any parts. Don't skip anything. Watch it through from beginning to the end. Once you watch it and after the exam, you are good. I want to take it at 15. Now take it at 15. You know, there's no way I'll place this and they said my center of gravity should be fixed. There's no way I'll do this, the thing will be falling. I need mass to balance it. And what are those masses that I need to balance it? They say the starting point should be uh, one. It should be what? They mentioned 100. That my yes, I believe you can see now. I have placed 100 there. I won't stand up like I said earlier. You saw that uh, I, I will not disorganize the experiment. By the end of the ocean, I will stand up to write the comparison values. Now, let's be enjoying it like this as I'm sitting. Let's also be enjoying it together. That's why I said, you also sit, pick up your book, and let's enjoy it together. Let's have fun with this right now. All right, when I place, maybe I should create that simple table here that I need mass. I need mass when I place 100 gram. When I place 100 gram, okay. You, now, here we need to be so sensitive. My center of gravity is 50. The place we show where my M here is. You know, my counting is following from here. You know, they say I should place this one on 15, it's already on 15. So I'm counting like this. This is 50, 51, like that. So on this place now, this my particular 100 gram is on 85. My position here is 85. My position here is 85. So 85 minus 50. 85 minus 50. That's what I'm going to have now. That is my L. My L now. L in centimeter. You've gotten it. Center, that is the value minus center of gravity. 85 minus 50. That is 35.00. I think it's so very clear. The value minus the center of gravity. Do remember something was said about this place as well that uh, we should take the measurements of our D. You know, as opposed to I've taken my measurement of D. Why well, said so very simply again. I place this thing on 15. I am um, my center of gravity is 50. 50 minus 15 is still 35. So the colon for D. Is it D the put there? Yeah, for D. The colon for D, let me also say D in centimeter. 
D may come first to your room, A come second. Doesn't matter, Emo, it doesn't matter. But what matters most is that uh, make sure your work is neat and you are accurate. So I have 35 as well, 35.0. I think I've achieved that. Let me go to 110. How can I achieve 110? 100 plus 10 equals to 110. And let's see what's going to happen. You can see already it's failing. Uh, it's having the impact. So what would I do? And this thing must not leave 50. Whenever your force or your plant is moving towards this side, ensure that this place, the weight here is heavier. Shift it to the center. Move towards the center of gravity. Move to the center of gravity. Let me move. I am moving it. And the thing will be fixed. I'm checking, is it touching my plant? Is it touching my table? Is it touching my table? Let me, that is, you need a little adjustment, just a little. That's why I said, take your time to work. Let's enjoy together. I also want to sit, I want to enjoy it. Let's catch form with physics practical. Let's catch form with madness. Let's catch form with principle of movement. Now I can see it right now. I can see it right now. Uh, this time around, I'm seeing, this time around, I am seeing something meaningful. I'm seeing something meaningful. What am I seeing? I'm seeing, I'm checking, I'm seeing 82. That is, this year, this, this place, this position, I'm seeing 82. Eight, now, remember, 82 minus um, 50. You know how we are doing it? 82 minus 50, that will give me 32. 32.00. And this one, you know, this place will be fixed. Since we didn't touch it, it's still intact. 35. Point zero zero. Let me make it bigger. One twenty now. We want to increase it to one twenty. I'll remove that ten. I'll remove that ten. I'm going to one twenty. Also, you feel it. You can see that. Uh, you can see it's falling. I will need to shift. I'll be watching my center of gravity. Very interesting. It's touching nothing. <coughs> Very interesting. It's touching nothing. Now, <coughs> remember this side will fix. Let me put right this. This one will fix throughout, so we don't have any business with this. So we have 120 or 120 for 130. Let me write it very well so that everything will be organized. We don't be missing it up. We said this place we got 32. We got 32. This one's still 35. Now, I want to get a new value for this place. Right now, we have 130. We have 140. So, 35.0. <coughs> 35. <coughs> now, I'm taking my time to check. Counting, it still remains on my 50. I can see 79. But I can't write 79 directly, you know what it means? 79 minus 50. 79 minus 50, that is uh, what? 79 minus 50, that is 29. So here I'm having 29.00. I think that one is settled, we don't need to waste time. And now this time around, I'm going to 130. I can I get 130? 100 plus 20. Plus 10. 100, 120 already. Let me add 10 to it and let's see the miracle that wants to happen. You can see it's falling. Alright, let me move it towards the center. I believe you can see the way it's working. That's why I also want to sit down so that I will enjoy it. Nobody will be rushing. You don't rush when you are doing a spread. When you are carrying out the spread, don't rush. It's still falling there. Eh? You can still see very well. I will not believe that it's balanced now because of my hand. Now let me see if I stretch this thing. We did not touch it. You can see it's touching my table. Let me still maintain my center of gravity. You can see it's falling. 
I want us to watch very well how the practical on equilibrium is done. Let me take this uh, my cleaner. Here we can see where can I see this picture? I can see it very well. I can see it very well now. Nothing, not it's not touching. You can see my hand is free. Wonder, nothing. It's nice, not, nothing there. So this is balancing at seventy-seven. I need I can't have seven. You know what it means? I need to say to subtract the center of gravity from this seventy-seven. So seventy-seven minus fifty. That is also twenty-seven. Twenty-seven point zero. And let's do the last one together. We are going to one. 40. So I'll remove the 10, let me remove the 10 and replace it with uh, 20.